This is Project Zomboid, and this is how I died. But actually, um, that's not how I died. I stood up after busting my ass on a skateboard I never rode before, and then ran away from a bunch of zombies that just came out of nowhere, and then running away from said zombies heroically because I was too tired to fight. Anyways, at first glance, this game kinda looks like a knockoff of The Sims, but, you know, oops, all zombies. But, it's so much more than that. Never judge a book by its cover. Alright, I'm just gonna get into it, no wasting time, no finger popping each other's assholes. <laughs> You guys get that reference? Anyways, we first start here at the menu, and we get to choose the conditions we're gonna set ourselves into. There's some cool, unique challenges that uh, Saiyanists like to try out and play, but not for me. I like to go to Custom Sandbox, so I can remove the respawn for zombies. Come, cause, cause like, come on, man. I'm not playing Black Ops Zombies here, okay? Let's go! After choosing a location, we then get to choose our occupation like a police officer or, you know, construction worker. But the most important thing are the traits. So these range from good traits to bad traits, and they're meant to balance you out so that you're not overpowered. So you got something like, you know, maybe you're flexible, maybe, you know, you run a little bit better, or you're just amputated, or, you know, you're deaf. But one of these is a mod, so I'm gonna let you guess which one is a mod or not. Then you just create your character. Um, I mean, I like to self-insert, because, you know, I'm, I'm that kind of guy. I, I bet there's some people like me too. Alright, don't judge, and we just drop in. So, once you spawn in, wherever you are, you have to pretty much survive. Um, yeah, no shit. You have to eat food, drink some water, find some sort of weapon or anything, and most importantly, find a nice place to rest and make yourself home because, uh, it's not looking so good out there. These are slow walking zombies. So yeah, maybe if you see one, you could take them on if you have like a good weapon on you. Let out that inner Negan, am I right? Still, give me strength. Yes. However, there is nobody else if you're playing by yourself. One zombie is manageable, but if there's five or ten or more, then running away might be a good option. Or you could just stay and fight. <gasps> it's always dangerous because one bite and your character is dead. Scary as shit, but fun. <gasps> what the fuck? One down, two down, three down. Did I mention you can also use guns too? But uh, I'm sure you can guess why that's not much of a good idea. It makes you feel like Rick Grimes. Fuck me! Ah. Did I also forget to mention that this game can be a bit scary too? Like that could have that could have been the end of me right there. I should also tell you, my friends, the the, the, the two people watching this right now, that uh, you know you could get yourself hurt. Like I got myself hurt here by scratching, and you need medication. You know, bandages, dis disinfectant, stuff like that. And in the meantime, you lower yourself up through, you know, healing yourself or using an axe, a carpentry. There's also the fact you can drive cars too, and a motorcycle that comes with a mod, and a skateboard too. 
Although it is kind of hard to find a working car and the gas. Plus all these guys on the road that kind of just get in your way. Like, come on, man. Just, just get out the way. Just get out. Also, the fact that this map is fucking big as shit. And you realize that there's each individual house and store. Like, holy shit. And they're gonna add more in the future, like holy my, my god. I could also mention the helicopter event or the season changing, like winter it's gonna like just pull down your pants and just, just, just go to town on you if you're not prepared. Or the fact that water isn't gonna be available soon in sinks or toilets or wherever else. And you're gonna, maybe you're gonna have to start like growing your own food. It's a whole lot of shit. And, but I, I think I convinced my friends, I hope, maybe not, but hopefully I, I, sh I can show them why I like this game a lot. But I think that's gonna do it. This is a very, you know, bite-sized video, not too big. Just a short one to throw out there. And I, and I stopped myself from playing this game further so I can make this, so I can get this video out. But, but I'm itching to get back. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just itching to get back, you know. But thank you for watching, and as the time of uh, me editing this, I had uh, 80 subscribers, so thank you. A big step up from 8 subscribers. I'm not gonna do 80 subscribers special, but maybe a 100 subscribers special, you know? Maybe play a little bit of Gary's Mob, you know, live. Go for some scary maps, I don't know. I, I don't promise anything. All footage is me playing this game live. You can catch me right here on YouTube or on Twitch. And, um... Bye.